up everybody it's your girl July from kickback couture today i'm gonna show you how to gain stage in reason all right had a big debate about this but who cares i'm gonna show you how to go from sounding like this to sounding like this Now the point of gain staging is to control the volume as close to the source of your signal as possible. It's also important for the idea of sending it off to a mastering engineer or mastering after the production is done. Now what you want to do is make sure there's headroom in that case. So gain staging is also very beneficial if you're trying to leave headroom in your mix for a future master. The first thing I do in order to set up my gain staging workflow is add a C-Lig gain meter to my master. And what I do is boost this up by 6 decibels. The reason I boost this by 6 decibels is so that when I'm mixing into my meter and I'm hot or I'm, you know, right above or just below clipping, once I turn this meter off, this gain knob, gain fader, I will now be negative six relatively decibels in terms of volume. All right, now I'm going to walk you through that process. This is on. The meter I like to use is by Waves. It's this Doro stereo meter right here. I like it because, well, for one, it comes looking like this, right? I like it because, for one, I need glasses so I can make it bigger. And it also comes vertical horizontal and arc and i like vertical because it fits well in terms of viewing everything and checking and comparing everything it's not in the way so let's start with this kick i mix everything relative to my kick so soloing that now what i like about this meter is this hold button i get to see what i'm hitting Definitely going to turn this down. Now I'm getting as close to the signal as possible. You see it's an oomph. So I turn the volume down here. Also have these drums all routed out to their own separate mix channels for separate processing. Now a good place to get this kick hitting is about negative seven. Because once I add in my other sounds, I will get closer to this mark up here. Let's reset this peak. Great. Let's go ahead and get this 808 in here. Trying to get the low end in first. Good practice when getting in a kick and 808 to fit together is uh, side chaining them. So flip into the back of the rack, rack, gonna select the kick parallel output and route that into the side chain of this 808. Gonna jump into the mixer, drop down the dynamic section, turn this compressor on to initiate the side chaining. Just bring this ratio up a little bit. Bring the threshold down. Fast attack. Speed up the release a little bit. Definitely reference your low end in monitors or headphones that have a good low end frequency response. All right, cool. Got the 808 and the kick down. Uh, probably turn the 808 down just a tad. An alternative to turning down the volume right here. If you're working with audio, for example, and not MIDI or instruments, would be up here in this area, these gain knobs. So let's bring this down just a tad. Holding down shift for finer values. All 
right, cool. That's sitting about good to me. May turn it up later. Who knows? But for right now, that's great. Let's go ahead and add in this clap. Bring that volume down. And if it helps you to see these meters as well as a visual aid next to each other, you can view those all at once, of course. And that's about good for me right now. Let me turn it down a little bit. All right. And relative to the kick, it's kind of low. I go back and forth with this all the time. All right, that's a good spot. Let's add this snare. Now, one step I forgot with this clap is EQ. So let's go ahead and bring up that EQ on this clap first. Let's get that low end out with the high pass filter. Not too much. Still want the body of that clap. And that's about good for me. Snare. Get that low end out right now. volume now for me volume and EQ work hand in hand ideally you do want to adjust your volume before EQing or you know you might have a workflow you like best but I kind of do both at the same time All right, let's get this hi-hat in here. So with this NNXT, the closest we can get to the source is this level here on the amp envelope. So selecting this, and we don't have to touch this because this is going give to give us final values, finer values. All right, let's get that open hi-hat in here. And those are both located over here. about good for me all right I got all my drums in so next will be the instrumental sound so let's start with this lead as it kind of plays part as the main instrument and main sound Um, did I EQ this high hat? Cool. Not much to cut here. Next we got this bell, and we do see some low end bouncing, we'll cut that out, turn it down, and I do have the sound panned 16 to the left. The reasoning behind that is because when I was making this beat, I know I wanted this to counteract that and it's panned 16 to the right. Mm -hmm. 
Then I have this tubular bell in which I can use this mix master knob to turn it down or I can get closer to the source as we've been saying and turn it down here and then in the NXT and even closer to that source would be turning down individual samples. Now I don't want to do that because there are multiple samples involved so I would be safe and turn it down up here. And let's get that playing because it's still muted. Good volume for me. All right, that is the entire beat. Let's listen. All right, cool. So let's see where we're sitting on that meter. All right, cool. So we're just below the peaking on this meter, right? So what I now want to do, let's actually keep this open. Keep open. And let's turn the C-Lig gain off. And let's see where we're sitting. Now we have a good amount of headroom now, right? So that's the point of gain staging. Altering your signal volume as close to the signal as possible and mixing for optimal headroom so that your mastering engineer can take care of the loudness and other things that come along with mastering. Don't forget to subscribe. Definitely let me know what you would like to see next. Let me know what workflow you use to gain stage. I'm sure everyone in the community wants to know. It's all culture, kickback, and cook up.